Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very inexpensive corsage for the next event on your list. Whether it's prom, a wedding, a homecoming, any occasion. These can be so costly in our area. The cheapest you can find them are $20. So I'm going to walk you through how to make these for under $5 a piece. And it is five easy steps that anyone can accomplish. Now, whether you're looking for something simple and small, understated, or a little more elaborate, you can accomplish all of these looks at home on your own. Now, if you really want to stretch your dollar, it is easy as getting a cardboard box and some felt. Felt will run you 25 cents and you can find it in any craft store or Walmart. Now, I like to take my box and cut out a shape. You can cut out an oval, a circle. I like to cut out rectangles and then cover them with the felt using a little bit of hot glue. I like the rectangles because they're easy enough to trace onto the felt and cover. Then you take a little bit of elastic. Again, elastic is something you can find in the sewing section of most stores. I know you can get it at Walmart for 97 cents. You get three yards. So you can pick this up at any craft store, any big box store, and then you're just going to cut an amount that fits the wrist, hot glue it together, and then use some more hot glue to adhere your wristlet to the felt cardboard piece. Now, don't worry about what this looks like. It's going to be completely covered and you're not going to see it at all. And the goal of what we just made, which is called a wristlet, is to make it super lightweight. So when we add our florals and ribbon, it is comfortable to wear and not too bulky. Now, you could always go in and decorate the other side of the wristlet. Not necessary. They also sell other options at Hobby Lobby and they are so affordable. So I hit the sale and they do this sale about every other week when they put their wedding items on sale. You can pick up a wristlet for a dollar cheaper than we can make it. You could also get super fancy and buy one of these rhinestone version that run $4.99 regular retail. And when they go half price at $2.50, you really cannot beat it, depending on how many you want to make and how much you want to spend. So for this one, I am going to be using this version, which was $2.50 from Hobby Lobby. You're also going to need some ribbon. I do like using two colors ribbon and you're going to need some floral. This is from Walmart. I paid a whopping $2.50 for it. Now it's a rose. It came with three buds. I already used one of the buds in a different corsage. They also have these really realistic looking carnations for 97 cents a bundle. So just take a look around. You can get floral at places like Dollar Tree, Walmart, any craft store, and you don't have to spend a whole lot on them. Now I will mention that Walmart has some very realistic looking baby's breath. If you want to get super fancy or you're making a bunch, you can also find things at Hobby Lobby that are embellishments. Remember, these are optional. You're not really going to notice them. But if you do buy them, I do recommend picking those up when they run 50% off. And if you want to just head to the Dollar Tree for a few things, you could always pick up some floral tape, some floral wire. Now, I do use the wire. I don't really use the tape for this. But I did end up using something very similar. I picked it up on clearance, so it cost me just a few pennies. So I did want to let you know that Dollar Tree does have a wire option. You are going to need some type of wire. This is the one you'll see me using in the white. So let's get started. This is so easy. You're just going to take some ribbon and you're going to make some loops. Go ahead and thread your wire, whatever you use, down the center. This is not something that has to be perfect by any means. Now, what I like to do is three loops with one color and we're going to come back with another color here in a second. I also like to leave the ends just out. I think they're really pretty. Just cut them at an angle and I don't know. I just like that look. So then take your wire and give it a couple of twists just to secure it. Now we're going to grab any other colored ribbon that you would like to coordinate for the outfit and do two loops. So here's the thing on the ribbon. The best buys you're going to find are going to be at Walmart and also Hobby Lobby. When they run their sale on their wristlets and the embellishments is the same week that they run the ribbon 50% off. So that's when I picked up these ribbons. They were all of 99 cents. They usually run about $1.99 for this size. And I picked up two different colors for each corsage. Once you've made a couple more loops in your coordinating ribbon, go ahead and give it another little twist and then fluff. Now, if you want to get really fancy, you can do what I did and grab another ribbon and go ahead and add some rhinestone strip. I actually picked this up on clearance. I've been a crafter for a very long time. This is not needed. But if you do want to use rhinestone stripping, I do recommend 
adding it after you have made your little ribbon bundles. So what I like to do is just make a loop of the rhinestones and then hot glue them between the pieces of the ribbon. Now this is twofold. It's gonna be a lot more lightweight these were actually a little too large. Don't tell anyone. I would have done them even smaller. And it also saves any kind of materials. So if you're making quite a few of them, that way you will have even more to work with. Again, this is not needed. And this is just an embellishment idea for you guys. And we are almost done with our first bundle. These are very fast to put together after you've sort of gotten the feel for it. So give yourself a few minutes to make these. Now I did make two bundles for each corsage that I made today. So we are going to be repeating this process and this is what you're going to end up with. Now we've got our ribbon and a little bit of embellishment. So it's time to add some floral. What I like to do is grab any greenery off of the floral that I purchased and add a little bit of hot glue to the back side or the not as good looking side of my ribbon bundle. And then once that has set up and dry, I'm going to add some florals. Now these are actually paper flowers and they are a great option. They're from Hobby Lobby. I just paid a little bit over a dollar for a whole bunch of them. So I am using a rosebud and I am using this little embellishment that came in a pack. I think it was actually 12 of them for all of a dollar fifty and I'm using that wire but you could use your floral wire to just bundle these together and wrap them around. Of course you can always go back and play with it. You could cover the bottom part with the floral tape that I showed you from the Dollar Tree and that's all you have. Now this is actually technically a boutonniere but what I like to do when I make my corsages is make two of these one for each end so here we are with the two finished bundles this one with the rosebud I added in some of that baby's breath from Walmart and you could stop here you could literally glue these together on your wristlet but I'm kind of extra so what I did is I glued one of the bundles to the wristlet on the metal using my hot glue gun and then you can use the tabs that are actually on there and bend them down around the floral so those are kind of nice to have um, it's not necessary and everything is super lightweight so you could definitely use the DIY version then I go ahead and I hot glue down the second bundle kind of hold it in place until it sets up and just kind of play with it so that everything ends up exactly where you want it and then once you've got those set up it's time for the magic and for that I am using the large rose off of my bundle. I went ahead and cut it as close to the stem as possible and then I used just a large amount of hot glue and I do mean like a copious amount of hot glue. I didn't want it popping off or anything so go ahead and add your floral to your hot glue. Then I like to flip my corsage upside down so that as the glue is sort of melting and drying it kind of sets up to the bottom of the rose or whatever flower you're gluing down. Now we have a finished corsage but what I like to do is go in and check on the sides. If there's any bare spots I just like to add whatever I've got left over. So if it's greenery, go ahead and add a little bit of hot glue and add some greenery. I had these paper flowers left over. So just check your sides, make sure they have a finished look. And that's all there is to making a very affordable, beautiful corsage. Now we were just at prom and I have to tell you, the girls I made corsages for had the best looking ones there. I made them all for under $5 a piece. I do recommend checking out Hobby Lobby, especially if you have time to grab items on sale. When they run their floral at 50% off, it's extremely affordable. I think these all turned out amazing and went so well with the girls' dresses. Now you could always just go with one color ribbon. I really prefer doing two. I like to do one solid color that is the color of the dress and add in a metallic whatever they're using as their jewelry color, whether it's gold or silver. And the best part is that these will last for years to come. I hope that these little tips and tricks have helped you in your corsage making and I hope you have a wonderful event. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you back very soon. I won't make it easy for you now.